What's that buzzing sound? We join beekeeper Randy Sue Collins as she collects a swarm of bees. I haven't been stung as many times as you would probably think that I was. When I go into my hive, I can just about tell you why I got stung every time I got stung. And it was beekeeping error on my part. When I go into my hive, I know what I'm going in there for. And I do it fairly, fairly quickly, but with slow movements. You don't want to make rapid movements over the top of the bees. That gets the guards up and they're gonna start, they're, they're gonna watch to see when they need to come out and start protecting the hive. If there's rapid movements, it's usually an indication, it's a threat. So I inadvertently, unconsciously threatened my bees and I got stung. And I looked back and went, okay, I, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Cause it hurts, I don't like getting stung. Well, I got a, a call the other day from a gentleman at the pub who worked at the pub in 4th Street in Santa Rosa. So I went down to 4th Street and there was a cluster of bees that had swarmed from a nearby hive looking for another home. So what happens is it's time for this honeybee colony to divide itself. Oftentimes it's getting too big in the cavity that it's, that it's living in and it's also nature's instinct for the colony to divide itself to reproduce the species. So what happens is a new queen is created in the old hive. And what's gonna happen is the old queen is going to leave with half of the colony and they're gonna start a new home somewhere else. And so now you have two hives. But they're not in a dangerous mode at that point in time. You could actually stand in the middle of it very still and they'll fly around you. They're not looking to attack anything. They're just looking to regroup in a new place so their scouts can find them a new home and they'll all move into a new cavity somewhere. When I go on a swarm call, I bring a cardboard, light cardboard box. It's a, usually a white box and it has a, a coating of wax on it um, made for that particular purpose. And in that box, I put frames. And the frames that I put in there I, are the frames that are gonna go into the permanent hive. So if I'm lucky enough to get the queen from the cluster into the box, the rest will eventually follow. I want to see if there's bees around the edge that start fanning. They, what they're doing is they're fanning that pheromone smell out. So they're telling all the other bees that are still up in the tree, hey, here's our new home, come on down here. So they, they are looking for a dark, uh, dry, crevice somewhere and so I'm offering them that and then the next day about 11 o'clock or so in the morning I'll open it up and I'll take those frames out of that box and I'll put them into their permanent hive. Apples, oranges, coffee, almonds, oh uh, gosh, peaches, most of the things that you can think of that you really love uh, are pollinated through honeybees. All the things that we really, uh, that, that taste good and, and that actually feed us nutritionally, you know, vitamins, antioxidants, all the things that we need are in the plants that the honeybees pollinate. Also, the foods that the animals that we eat, the honeybee pollinates. Grasses and the alfalfas and the things that, that the cows and the chickens, we need the honeybee for that as well. You know, busy as a bee is, is definitely a, uh, a saying that, that is true. <laughs>